What's up everyone? In this week's video I'm going to redo this wine bottle ecosphere I made about 5 months ago. And as you can see it didn't really work out. I didn't use the same method in this one as in the other ones. Which did work as you can see. So let's first try to clean this one completely. And I see you guys back in a few minutes. It was actually fairly easy to get all the dirt out, but it's still pretty dirty and like full of this brown and green algae on the sides. I'm going to try to clean it off as good as possible. Well, I just broke my quite expensive glass tube while cleaning this. Nice! So guys, and now it's time to make the ecosphere. I've managed to clean it pretty good. There are some spots left that I couldn't reach, but now it's fine. If certainly these green algae are no problem. I actually want these algae to be in here. And here are some red spots, but I think this won't cause any problems. Let's first add some substrate. I'm going to start with uh, this charcoal, activated charcoal for fish tanks with no uh, dangerous chemicals or something added to it. And I'm going to start with this one because otherwise I will risk that it will float upwards. That's more than enough. I spilled a little bit. But that's no problem. Let's add this long-term nutrient substrate mixture. This is uh, for aqua plants, so perfect for this cause. Also very carefully, wait. I will probably spill a lot, so I'm going to prevent that by using a little funnel. So what do you guys think? Is this enough? Maybe a little more? Yeah, let's do a little more. I think this will be deep enough for the roots. This is the plant I'm going to use guys. It's a Herophila corymbosa from Thailand. It's an easy to care for. The length will be, well, perfect for the for the bottle, maybe a little bit too big actually. I'm seeing it right now, it'll be... Well, uh, it'll fit just right, I think. Okay, I really hate this spongy material. It's such a pain in the ass. Well, with this one it's actually pretty easy, but sometimes you like damage all the roots with removing it. But with this one it seems pretty feasible. How am I supposed to get this out, out of the roots? I'm going to try to put them all together in the middle of the bottle. Just try to make a hole. I'm doing this with a freaking thermometer. <laughs> but I have nothing else long enough. I broke my glass tube, so... Which is a shame. Okay, let's put them in. Why all together? I have no idea. Yeah, but it fits, so no problem. I think I'm not damaging too much. Alright, it fits, that's something. Will I cover it with some stones? I think I have to just a little bit. Uh, yeah, I have no choice otherwise this soil will like, it's a little dusty so the water will become cloudy if I don't cover it up. And it actually went pretty well. Let's 
shake it to even it out. Now look at that guys. This is just some regular mineral water or spring water, not tap water with chemicals and chlorine and all that stuff. Let's carefully, that's not very careful. You have to do, do it like this to touch the sides, to not disturb the bottom too much. I've decorated the bottom with a small mineral and two little shells, just to make it a little prettier. Climbed here up my ladder and here I have a little water tank with some aqua plants and some water with all kinds of very small life and algae and snails in it. So let's take some water from this and some of these floating plants and let's put it straight into This is more than enough, maybe even a little bit too full because you always need a gap of air at the top. But yeah, the water plant is pretty big so this is perfect. And let's take a snail, that one you can see him like crawling on the bottom. And this is actually offspring of Sheldon. The first snail I got, I only bought one of these snails and like now I have hundreds of them, a lot of them are still small but also a few big ones like this one. So this is your new little enclosure. So he slash she will reproduce and produce some copies of itself in this new environment. So guys, this was it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please consider subscribing if you like my content, I make a lot of these guys, so if you're into ecospheres, ecosystems, biology, genetics, all that kind of stuff, that's my field, that's what I make videos about. I try to upload every Thursday, um, so I will see you guys next week, thanks for watching.